what's up guys you got John and John here <laughs> and we're doing something interesting today I don't know how it's gonna play out maybe this video might not even get posted depending on how she goes but uh, we're going to look at a truck yeah I know we already have two trucks on the channel but one he doesn't even drive two I don't even drive <laughs> but honestly I mean we'll talk more about this in the video but like both trucks that I have are in a way you guys might disagree or you might get mad at me saying this but they're both kind of useless trucks uh, the reason why I say that is because the SRT10 is kind of a collector's truck. It's got sport suspension on it. You can't really tow with it. It's six-speed manual. It's really not made to tow anything. Um, and the fact that it's a collector truck, that I really don't want to be putting that many miles on it and doing that with it. And then the Dakota, uh, that's not set up whatsoever for towing because uh, it's got like... I, there was a, I don't know if you guys know, do you know about that lawsuit from Dakota? Yeah, you're telling me about it. Yeah, so there was a lawsuit in the 90s because the Dakota, the RT, the 5.9, it has a truck engine in it, like a big truck, a ramp truck, yeah. but the frame is small, the brakes are small, and yeah, it's not meant to, even the stability-wise, like the suspension and everything else isn't meant to yeah. carry the weight. So people were crashing because they were buying Dakotas, and uh, dealerships were selling Dakotas to people that were towing way too much weight with it, and then crashing, there was a big loss on so. And then with the Dakota RT being lowered, we took off the kegger intake. It has not that much torque anymore. It's really not meant for towing. So uh, if that can be any indication of what we're going to look at, it might be for towing. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Well. Boosted Motorsports. Send it. <laughs> Send it for the camera. Yo. Do it for the gram. <laughs> give a shout out for YouTube. I want to give a shout out to my boy right here with the sick ass HDK. Just clean my boy. Keep it up out there. Hey, your WX is clean too, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Horse stables and stuff. La cabana. La cabana. It's Wait. with the enye. Cabana. Enye. Oh, I like the bar. Yeah, it's a whole here. bar. Yeah. But there are people just what? jamming. <laughs> and they had all their horses back there. Yeah, this is not California anymore. We buy a horse <laughs> truck. We're buying a horse. It hauls horses. It was hauling ass. So we lied to you. We're gonna buy a horse. Yeah. <laughs> John wants to get into, he's a, he's a jockey now. <laughs> yeah, disc jockey. <laughs> John almost missed that. <laughs> we're we're in the country! <laughs> I think we're almost here, guys. Are we almost here? So, point two miles and we gotta turn it on the street. Oh, we have to turn. Just look for the horses <laughs> and the Cummins. Oh, we just, oh, 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 the direct. <laughs> He brought like, that S2000. What in the city, boys? This shit. Yeah. <laughs> we're country oh, boys. Dude, we're not going any further than this. This is pure off road from here. Just oh, walk from here? There, there, oh, it's there right there. Yeah. Ah. I see it. Perfect. We don't have to go far, though. I know. We're going to be snow plowing here in a second. Oh, my God.
turbo. Yeah. Turbo yeah. Is it? Yeah. That's turbo. The turbo's gone. That was the bearings, right? Yeah. 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 This I'm glad it made that noise. This thing's gonna need some money. <laughs> wow. You hear that screeching noise? Mm -hmm. That's the turbo. The bearings gone inside. All right, guys. We're gonna leave that ram behind. Um, we'll talk more in a second, but the turbo is pretty much cooked in it, I'm pretty sure. It's screaming like a chicken and it's throwing an under boost code. Yeah, as you heard in the last clip. And honestly, I mean, like I said, we'll, we'll do a breakdown here. Me and John are starving, so we're gonna get some food. We'll talk more there, but like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they rolled back the clock on that thing. What is that? Like the oh, odometer. the odometer? There's no way, 180,000 miles and that thing's screaming like a turkey. Like, there's no way, but... Anyways, we're out, boys. We'll find something else. But that one's a little too messed up for the amount of money they want. Crazy. All right, we're at McDonald's. Messed up. Messed up. And, yeah, I want to talk a little bit more. We'll, maybe we'll sit down. Is there... We can't even sit down, I don't think. No. Maybe? Can we sit over there? You can't sit down. I don't know if we can sit down over here, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to grab some food, drive back. I think at some point, when are we going to talk about the truck? I don't know. I don't know. I think our food come out. We'll talk about it in a second. Iced coffee without the coffee. He just got all ice. No. You got half the coffee. He got this. What did you get? This, Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Ew. I got. That's what I got. That's what I got. What did you get? I don't even know if we mentioned this, but Jonathan has been locked up. All right. So as we eat our McDonald's, we are going to break it down for you guys <laughs> on this truck. So let me start off by saying, price. <laughs> it is like 80 degrees outside, and this guy has a heater on right now. I'm cold. It's freaking hot. And my feet are burning. Well, here's the reason. First off, he's got one of those sweaters that you should check out <laughs> on his channel. But he still has a sweater. A long sleeve. You want to hear the other funny part? This fool is <laughs> wearing socks with sandals. <laughs> That's why he ain't cold. So what? What? Do you know anything about fashion? Socks and sandals. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? No. Yeah. The girls are going to think you're and you know what. Oh, my God. They're going to start thinking you're a friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're the one that hangs out with guys all the time. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Got to keep my boys around. So, what happened? All right. So, anyways, back to the story. Sorry, our food is still hitting our brains because we were starving for the last four hours. It's <laughs> nonsense. So, two-hour drive out here. Middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. Palmdale. It was supposed to be a good deal. Uh, here's the specs 2005 Dodge Ram 2500. Uh, supposed to be a Laramie. I'm pretty sure it was a Laramie, obviously. It had leather interior. Uh, 188,000 miles, Cummins 5.9. I think it said that. But, anyways, only two wheel drive. So, the backstory the guy, you know, just didn't need it or something or was selling it. That's all we were told. Came out, asked if it was clean title, it was clean title. And the person that I was contacting with was a younger guy, right? And then... Yeah. Like in his 20s. Like 20, 25. And then what came out and what did they say? I'm going to eat these fries. <laughs> it was an older guy that came out. Um, probably the 40s, 50s. He said, hey, my name is Robert. Which is weird because the profile we were talking to was also named Robert. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the dad and he's the junior. I don't know. Or some something fishy was going on. And yeah. he said he didn't know much about the truck. Yeah, that was the like the number one first red flag. Yeah. I said, Oh, so you know, have you had the truck for a while? Yeah. He goes, No. <laughs> and he says he's only had it for and he didn't even know how long he's had it. That was the other weird part. Mm. He goes, I think two weeks, maybe a few months. I'm like, Well which one yeah. is it? Yeah. <laughs> so that was flag number one. So they didn't know the history. I'm like, Okay, well if you haven't had it that long Who's, do you, is it in your name? And then they both looked at each other and seemed like they were scrambling for answers. And they didn't seem to know whose name it was in. I was like, well, did you buy it from a dealership? Did you buy it from a person? Like, what's the deal with this thing? Oh, I think he bought it from, they didn't even know if it was his friend, remember? Mm. Afterwards, he said it was his friend. He said, I think, I think he bought it from his friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. So that was a sketchy part. Yeah. They didn't know where the thing came from. I don't know whose truck it actually was. We didn't even get into the paperwork. That didn't even end up happening by the time we went through the truck. So, immediately he jumps in the truck, fires the thing up. Right away, yeah. It sounds okay starting up. I mean, 
Then we start going through the truck. Yeah. I go, I get underneath it, and I just see like a, a waterfall of oil <laughs> underneath it everywhere, from the yeah. gas tank, from to the axle, the transmission, every and anything, everything. Yep. So everything's leaking. The rear diff's leaking. Uh, the gas tank John found was was wet for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? The transmission was wet, and the back of the engine was wet. Is it? Do they have? Is there a valve cover? Like that was wet in on the, the back. top. Yeah. Oh yeah. So then the guy pops the hood. We look under the hood. Um, I don't know. In my opinion, it didn't look like no hundred eighty thousand dollar under the hood, or hundred eighty thousand miles, you know, under the hood mileage. It looked like it had more than that. If you know had, what I think happened? You know how the back of the truck said SLT? Mm -hmm. What if they they got a crash area and changed the whole interior with a dash, and they had lower miles? I don't. I was thinking that, but I don't think that because it had the dual climate control, and that's one of the back then that was like a big thing mm -hmm. dual climate control in 2005 and that oh, it was a big thing but it was an option mm -hmm. on the laramie okay yeah that was the other thing the back tailgate it was white but it was an slt tailgate but the interior was laramie all leather and it had like the the laramies of 2005 because i know we had one my dad had one it had a silver bezel on the dash and silver mm -hmm. silver trim on the on the door panels too kind of like the srt but anyways um, he says it's throwing a check in light. The check in light was on. Plug in the scanner, um, and it's throwing a code for intake air temperature and turbo under boost. So, mm -hmm. anyways, it's throwing those two codes. John researches them, says it could be minor, it could be major. But, um, anyways, <clears throat> we look around the truck. Both back doors don't work. The, the rear, the windows don't work on the back doors, and the locks don't work on the back doors. The wiring harness was hanging on the back doors with all these, like, butt connectors mm -hmm. uh the window switches the little bezel on the front doors was hanging off it was hanging yeah the cup holders were all janky looking the seats were all kind of ripped and torn up so uh, when i searched up the code the first thing that would pop up was the the turbo like that was the main issue so we didn't think anything of it because it sounded fine while it was idling but no. then but then <laughs> <laughs> well, we ended up looking to see if there's like a uh, coupling blown off, like, you know, mm -hmm. boost leak, but we didn't see any obvious things and it's not that far to go. Just, just there's a couple of small hoses that go into the intercooler and, and then a couple of small hoses that come out. Didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. Anyways, I started talking to this guy numbers. The whole, you guys probably didn't see it because it was dark out, but yeah. the whole passenger side of the bed was all like dented and messed up looking. Scratched stuff, scratched. yeah. Scratched. Pitted. Um, the fog lights were smashed out of it. Headlights were faded. Um, I mean, overall condition was kind of poor for the mileage. It was like a 6 out of 10, maybe? <laughs> yeah. 5 out of 10. And I think it needed a windshield. I was picking out the windshield. The windshield was really dirty, but... Anyways, we talked to this guy, Numbers. I'm saying, I tell him, hey, everything's leaking. It's got codes. I don't know if it's the turbo or what, but where are you at with Numbers? He was asking, apparently they paid 12.5. He said, he listed it for 11, said he was flexible, and immediately jumps down to $9,500. Yeah, I don't know. We didn't even try to lower the price or anything he just said i could do 95 right yeah like just out of nowhere i just told him i wasn't willing to pay anywhere near his asking price with the condition it was in especially with california like the smog there's no way that thing will pass with the, the check in going on and it was kind of huffing a little bit of smoke just sitting there idling mm -hmm. anyways he says 95 is his lowest i said i was probably realistically seven but even then i think I know you guys might think that doesn't sound like much for that truck, but trust me, it was pretty. It was really beat. Yeah. And uh, he said he couldn't do seven. I said that's probably that's my generous offer for how much like what was wrong with it. Yeah. Anyways, we went for a test drive. <clears throat> I think John has the footage of that. Yep. I don't know if I'll place it before or after what we're seeing, but um, we go for a drive and you can hear it ticking like like an exhaust leak tick, which that's not the end of the world. But then I start getting my foot into it. You have footage of that or no? Yeah, yeah. And you hear the, I've heard it before, when the turbo goes bad, you can hear the bearings or something screaming inside the turbo. And you can hear it. So at first it does it like quickly and then it goes away. But then he turns around and I have that on video too, where he's going back and the squealing just kept going, 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 going and then well, go I, away. I put my foot into it harder though. Oh, That's, okay. why, it That's was, why when it was trying to spool hard, you could hear the turbo, mm. like the bearings must have been roasted in this thing. Yeah. And I think honestly what that is, is, I mean, it could be a different way of breaking, but 
it's the actual compressor wheel and the turbo spinning, it's touching the mm -hmm. housing. Yeah, so it's so, scratching everything yeah, up. Yeah, that's that ee because the bearings are gone and it's just... Oh, I see. Yeah, because the bearings... Yeah, yeah okay. Mm -hmm. So he, when he stepped on it, it actually did feel good. It, looked, it felt like it was going, but what I was reading online, and a lot of people said this is, even though it does feel like it has power, when you have load, like a trailer or something, it's not gonna have the power. But without it, it will. So that's like a little weird, you know? So even though, if you're checking one of these out, if it drives fine, but you hear that squealing, don't. get, Don't do it. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to tell anything. So I don't know. If you had a, if you had a taken, you know, came down and I think the price I was thinking in mind was seven. And again, you guys might think it's cheap, but I'm telling you, it was beat. There was, the body was beat and there's something wrong with the engine. So everything it, was leaking so, too. And it was leaking, yeah. the doors don't work, the electrical, the body, like the body visually was all faded and, you know, messed up looking. Yeah. The seats were all messed up. So this thing needed a lot of work. There was no good aspect to it. And the tags were past due too. <laughs> yeah, and in California, if you go past your tags, <coughs> you have to pay the <laughs> other people's tags. Yeah. Thing. They don't give you lube here. <laughs> no, that's stupid. If somebody else doesn't forgets to pay their bill, you're responsible for it. That doesn't make any sense. That's almost like if you bought a house and somebody else didn't pay their utility bill, you have to pay their utility bill. Like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's super super expensive. But anyway, especially for a truck. <laughs> long story short, we didn't get it. But we're talking. Maybe we'll go Duramax or we'll keep our eye out for something. Anyways, we got we got the money to do it. Not that we have a huge budget, but we were ready to buy it. Yep. After selling the Jetta, I freed up some funds that way. And I was looking for something that I could daily after I eat my McChicken. <laughs> after he eats, after he ate his Big Mac? Yeah. <laughs> I'm being fat today. But. Every day. Yeah, I don't know. Something, <laughs> something I can daily, something we can use to tow. It's something that would be fun for the channel. It's kind of what I'm looking at, but I'm not in a rush either. We could have bought it. We could have bought that headache. I mean, maybe it yeah. would have been an easy fix. Maybe not, but... Even if even if the turbo turned out to just be a turbo, yeah, and there's you, still you, so many other problems with the thing: yeah. leaking transmission, leaking differential, leaking uh, valve cover or something. Plus the turbo, and they had an oxygen sensor or not oxygen <laughs> but, intake air temperature sensor yeah. was was throwing a code as well. Whatever that means, might just be a sensor, might be a wire. Like I said, both both doors don't work. The rear doors, the door when you hit the lock button, it wouldn't lock. When you hit unlock, it wouldn't lock on like three out of four doors. Yeah, something was weird with that truck. Plus, there was kind of rusty on the passenger side. Was it? Bed. I didn't check. No. Yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this style video. I don't know if we've ever sat in the car like podcast style. <laughs> yeah. Recording um, and having a conversation. You know what we just did? A mukbang. Is that what it is? Yeah, where you eat and talk. <laughs> I don't <laughs> we know. just did a mukbang. Pretty much, but I don't know. Yeah. It's cool just, you know, chatting and recording and stuff. Yeah. Let me so know if you guys like it. What, what do you guys want to see on the channel? Like, he was thinking, you know, the Cummins, since it's Mopar, you know, Dodge. But would you guys be interested in seeing, you know, Duramax or, you know, something else, something different? I don't know. Let us know. Maybe the new Nissan Titan <laughs> with the no, Cummins? No. <laughs> no. No. That no, one's no, a no-go. No. We are not doing that. No, we no Titans here. The only foreign allowed <laughs> is the S2000. S2000. <laughs> but make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Drop yeah. a comment down below what vehicle you guys want to see. Is it Cummins? Is it Duramax? Is it something else? Yeah, we'll let us know. There. We'll keep an eye out though. I'm, I'm constantly looking on the class to see what comes up and uh thanks for watching hit that subscribe button check out his shirts check out my merch <laughs> check out his socks with sandals and we'll see oh you on the next God. video see you guys later peace, peace. <laughs>